What's up everyone? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did a tropical house type beat. So it's the beat that you heard at the beginning of the video. So the first sound that I started with was a Steinway grand piano and it's the one that comes inside of GarageBand, the stock plugin. And I'm going to show you uh, the plugins that I added. I added a little bit of reverb with that plugin called Little Plate. And uh, so now I'm going to record the piano. Okay, now I've recorded the piano, so here it is. And the other sound that I added was a moon bass. So I'm going to show you how it sounds like. So I added that sound, so I'm going to record it. Okay, so now the other sound that I added, it's a droplet, that's how it's called. And uh, it's sort of like a water sounding bass. It sounds like this. So I'm going to record that. So now I'm going to play what I've recorded all together. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to record is the dream voice. It's a sort of like a, a vocal melody. It's a little bit higher in pitch. So I'm going to record that sound. Okay, now the vocal melody has been recorded and I'm going to record a flute. Okay, now my flute has been recorded and what I'm going to do is that I've added a marimba sound but the marimba sound has the exact same melody as the flute. So the only thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy the file, what I've recorded for the flute and then I'm just going to click on Alt and then drag it here. So the marimba sound is going to have the same melody as the flute. So now let's listen to it all together. Okay, now the other thing that I'm going to record is a kick. And the kick, I used a sample. I, uh, I put my sample inside of the AU sampler, which is the, sample, the sampler that comes inside of GarageBand. So I'm going to see where is my kick. There it is. So now I'm going to record the kick. Okay, now the kick has been recorded and I'm going to record a finger snap. I'm going to change the name to snap, finger snap, wait a second, finger snap. Okay, so I'm going to record that sound and I got that sound from the, uh, it's, a, it's a sample pack that I've, I downloaded it from the internet. So there it is. So now I'm going to record the snap. Okay, now that the finger snap has been recorded, I'm going to add a percussion and I'm going to take it from the loop library inside of GarageBand. So I'm going to go under the loop and I'm going to look for 
Lazy Tambourine, which is the one that I used. This one. So I'm just going to drag it here. And then I'm just going to loop it just like that. So now the track is done. So let's play it all together. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to arrange the track and I'm going to get back to you with the final version. Okay, so I arranged the project a little bit. This is not the complete song. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. I'm probably going to modify it later on, but I've added an intro and then a drop. And for the drop, I've added a reverse symbol effect. So now let's listen to that on its own. It's basically a loop that I change a little bit with the uh, flex time inside of GarageBand. So now I'm going to make you listen to all of this with the intro and the little drop that I've made. <laughs> 